Welcome to Dairy Diary. Hey guys, so um, yeah, I am. I was just released from the hospital um, today. Um, earlier this week on Sunday, uh, me and my fiance went out to eat um, before I was getting ready to head back to school, and we ate at IHOP. And maybe 15 20 minutes after we ate at IHOP, I was like, Man, my stomach hurts a little bit, so I um, tried to use the bathroom or whatever. It was no big deal. There was no diarrhea or anything. So I got in my car and headed back to my school. And I got about 45 minutes away from home and I just couldn't make it anymore. Um, I pulled over on the side of the road and I was vomiting. I could barely walk, like my stomach hurt so bad. I was doubled over. And I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Like I was just perfectly fine before I ate this food. And then right after I ate it, you know all of a sudden I'm in this terrible pain so anyway I made it 45 minutes away from home and I just had to pull over at a Kroger and I just couldn't make it and um, my fiance came to pick me up um, from the Kroger and we went home for a minute because I was like you know maybe I just need to lay down but the pain just began to intensify and it was in the right lower quadrant so I was like you know, we, we just were talking about right lower quadrants in class. So I was like, maybe, you know, I have a appendicitis. So we went to the emergency room Sunday around 12 noon. And um, thankfully I knew some of the people that were working there at the time because they just pulled me right on back. Since I used to work in the emergency room, they just pulled me right on back. And um, yeah, I ended up staying. I stayed in the hospital from Sunday until today. And today is Friday. Um, April 21st so I've been in the hospital for five nights basically Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday yeah five nights so it's just crazy because one minute I was perfectly fine and the next I wasn't and I'm just like not that I'm not thinking about my health first but I'm just like I paid for my competition my first competition is now is 22 days away and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to compete in it um they told me to lay off working out for one week which I definitely understand because I mean I definitely still have pain in my stomach um, a lot of soreness they said from guarding and stuff. but um yeah hopefully if I can if I can recover within a week and I'm able to go to the gym maybe I'll try to go ahead and compete in that competition if not I'm gonna try to see if I can get my money back even though they say no refunds but I mean I'm sure if I show them my hospital paperwork they might try to give they might give me my money back but um I just don't want to go on stage looking crazy. If they don't give my money back, I probably still will compete. But it's not going to be, I'm not going to hold myself to such a high standard as I was holding myself previously. And it's so crazy because Saturday night we came from Florida. I was with my trainer, you know, practicing posing and everything. And Sunday morning, my life changed. Um, my stomach is very bloated and rounded. Um, they had me NPO, nothing by mouth, for like the first two days. So I didn't eat anything until Tuesday night. Um, I think they gave me, no, I think it was Wednesday they started giving me clear liquids. And then Wednesday night I started on regular food. Thursday I was on regular food all day and then this morning. So um, I haven't really had any nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Um, I haven't had diarrhea, period. But I did have um, some nausea and vomiting the first few days. And day three, I believe, which was Tuesday, oh my gosh, the pain was just so terrible. I had all these visitors coming and checking on me, and I couldn't even, like, pay attention to the visitors. I don't even know who was there because I was just in so much pain, and um, everybody was just looking at me. I'm like, you know, this is so painful. I don't know what to do. And, um, yeah, hopefully I can recover my body back in one week or, you know, get back healthy enough in one week to try to compete. I mean, I think it with the way I was looking before my trainer was very saying I was looking good so if I could get back to that by the date of my competition then I will try to go ahead and compete 
if not i'm gonna probably push my show back to a july show or june we don't really have any june shows in georgia but i mean i'm considering going to florida to compete so we'll see but yeah that's just a quick update i'll show you guys some of the pictures of my before right before i went in the hospital and i can show you some pictures of me now and you can just see the difference it's crazy i'm just like what happened to my body it's very crazy but yeah anyway thank you everybody that came and visited me sent me flowers sent me gifts candies chocolates even though i probably won't eat all that stuff but um thank you all for showing your love and support and i really 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 do appreciate it shout out to melissa for all of her help with school she's been recording taking notes for me every day i mean it really sucks to miss five days of class especially being in an expedited program um we did have a test today that i missed so i'm assuming my final is going to be worth a lot for that class because instead of them letting us make it up they just add the percentage to the final so if this test was worth 18 percent and let's say the final is worth 40 then my final will be worth 58 percent which means i definitely gotta go into high gear mode for that final so yeah we shall see but yeah that's what's going on with me right now um i'm just praying that i can get better and get my body healed um and it just showed me maybe i need to slow down a little bit because i'm always on the go i'm always doing this and that and everybody's like you probably just need to slow down and i mean that's true too i probably do need to slow down it's just that i just like having stuff to do i just love having i love to keep busy basically but um yeah maybe i need to just rest so i'm gonna stay at home this weekend with my fiance and rest and they're gonna take me back to school on sunday hi everyone um so today is day two of me being released from the hospital um i have been being a little bit more mobile now that i've been at home i mean i had no choice i don't have a nurse call button or anything but um yes yeah, so i've been a little bit more mobile i've been trying to drink more water um i have gained about 15 pounds of water weight from the hospital um i don't know if i said that yesterday but anyway i gained about 15 pounds of water weight from the hospital probably just i mean just from the fluids because i was barely eating I probably ate the most about three bites of each meal that I was given while I was at the hospital. Um, I just don't, when I'm sick, I just don't have any type of appetite. Um, when I'm sad or depressed, angry, I just don't have an appetite. So that's just, um, I'm not a stress eater. I'm a stress non-eater. So um, yeah, um, the first day, or the first, like I said, the first few days I was on an NPO, nothing by mouth diet. And um, when they did start to bring me food, I slowly tried to eat stuff just so I could have a BM before I left the hospital. But yeah, um, it's been a little difficult. I've been here by myself most of the day. I just had to come sit outside and just um, get some sun. I'm trying to sweat off some of this water weight, um, but it's not really working. Um, I wanted to go sit in the sauna today, but my mother did not want me to go sit in the sauna. She thinks it's a little too early for me to be trying to do stuff like that. hi everyone so um today was my second day back at school after my hospitalization and um the days have been going pretty well um yesterday i stayed with um well my first night back i stayed with my friend melissa just in case you know something happened or anything like that and plus like i said i live on the second floor so i didn't really want to be going up and down the stairs but i did decide to come on back home last night and um, i'm managing pretty well i do still have um episodes of pain in my abdomen sometimes and it just hurts really bad um i had a few flare-ups in class um i really have been trying to like i said i don't want i do not like taking pain medicine and so i really have been trying not to take the pain medicine if i don't have to but um, when the pain does become very very sharp i will go ahead and take a pain um pill but anyway like i said it's tuesday um, I'm still not working out yet. Um, I have lost more fluid. Um, this morning when I woke up, I believe I was 129. So that's good. Um, that's almost 10 whole pounds gone almost of fluid. So I think I still have a little bit more fluid to lose, especially in my back. 
Um, so hopefully that'll be gone tomorrow or by Thursday or something like that because it seems like it's it seems like I'm doing like three pounds a day losing about three pounds of fluid a day which is great um, so I can get back to where I was I still haven't decided on whether I'm gonna compete in my competition on May 13th yet um, I said I was gonna give myself till Sunday to see how my body is looking and if I'm able to work out right now I have this excruciating headache um, my, my brain is just tired I have a headache I'm about to go in and lay down right now I just pulled up back at home from school and it's about four o'clock right now so yeah um, I'm just praying that you know God heals my body I've been praying and you know I definitely not that I don't pray on a regular basis but you know it's just so crazy to me how I just went from perfectly fine to that but anyways I'm not gonna dwell on it if I do continue to be in pain um, tomorrow and Thursday I will be making a GI appointment for someone down here where I'm at sc in school at just to get a second opinion to make sure you know they're not missing something um, because I don't really feel like I should be still in pain um, if I'm taking the antibiotics and I'm been I'm gonna be on antibiotics for 10 whole days and I've already been on them for about four I think so I don't think that the pain should still be as strong at least as it is so um, if I'm still continue to be in pain I'm definitely gonna try to make a follow-up appointment for someone here other than that I do have a follow-up appointment back at home with the doctor that I saw in the hospital um, in two weeks so I think I might go to both just to see you know what's being said but yeah that's my update on my health right now and mm, if I decide that I will compete on Sunday I will show you guys a before picture I'll show you guys a before picture before I got sick after I got out of the hospital Sunday when I decide whether I am going to compete or not for May 13th if I don't compete in May 13th I'm thinking about looking at a competition on June 10th so that's not too far it's about a that's about two months away so you know it's not two months but it's, it'll be a whole month away from my first competition so that'll give me time I definitely can whip in a shape by June 10th um so yeah I'm gonna look at that competition if I don't get to do this competition and yeah I will talk to you guys later